Hey, Sam here for LickLibrary.com. Today, I'm going to be reacting to the amazing Jason Becker. Jason Becker is actually a huge influence on me, both technically, compositionally, and also mindset-wise. For those that don't know, Jason Becker started his career as a shrapnel guitarist. Shrapnel was a record label in the 80s, and they gave rise to the fame of people like Paul Gilbert, uh, Greg Howe, Vinnie Moore, and Jason Becker, Marty Friedman. Jason Becker had a solo album called Perpetual Burn, which features some incredible instrumental music, very different to the instrumental shred guitar of that era, inspired by neoclassical music, but really with an emotive sense and lots of interesting compositional techniques taken from classical music in a way that had never really been done before. Then he started a group with Marty Friedman, uh, and they started a group called Cacophony, which was kind of more like straight ahead heavy metal with some really esoteric stuff going on of exotic scales. And then after that disbanded and Marty Friedman went off to join Megadeth, Jason was taken under the wing of David Lee Roth. And David Lee Roth is no slouch. He's worked with some of the greatest guitarists in the world, such as Eddie Van Halen and Steve Vai. And Jason actually appeared on the album A Little Ain't Enough. And at that time, Jason was diagnosed with ALS, which changed his career completely. And of course, um, some people who are diagnosed with ALS don't have the longest life expectancy. However, Jason is still with us and still composing music thanks to his family care, uh, designing things so he can compose with his eyes, with the direction of his eyes. He can program MIDI and then send that off to all the amazing guitar players who know and love him to be able to play his instrumental music, which is a beautiful thing. So today I'm going to take a look at three different clips um, and reflect on them, just some things I find interesting about them. And yeah, let's dive in. Jason has released lots of instrumental music uh, pre-ALS and post-ALS, uh, but, but to hear his playing, I think it's really worth checking out Perpetual Burn, his solo album. His playing is so incredibly emotive, but also technical, and the compositions are just, you know, they pull on your heartstrings. So this is not a video of him playing, but this is actually part of a, it's an album stream. Uh, and this is his song Altitudes from Perpetual Burn. I'm just going to listen through and I feel awful talking over this amazing music however please do check out the actual song and just listen just turn all the lights off put it on headphones and just embrace it because it's really beautiful stuff so let's dive in Big epic chords. Vibrato attitude. Same technique, but so musical as well. So a beautiful theme. He's not just improvising over a backing track. Of course, the composition behind it is all supporting this lead guitar. It's the whole picture is not just cameo key guitar. It's thought out composition. Lots of different influences coming out here. But get ready for this next one. Uh, the 18 year old me was, didn't expect this.
building and building. Breathtaking. I'm exciting. As you can hear there, there's some incredible playing going on, and Jason at the time, I think he was in his mid-teens, late late teens maybe, kind of that kind of area, he was young, and um, composing this stuff, especially back in the era of just having maybe a four-track tape recorder or something, you know, and to go into a studio and then nail all this stuff, um, it's different than nowadays where you can sit in the comfort of your own home with your DAW and you can do as many takes as you want. Jason had sort of had this all planned out and could play it all and then went into the studio and recorded it. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a big mind going on right there. And the other side of this is that at the time there's lots of instrumental shred guitar, lots of neoclassical guitar, and often it'd be the same old kind of chord progressions or it'd be like a same loop of some chords just going around at the same dynamic. But everything here, even the back, if you're listening to those three parpeggios, I mean, they were just, nobody's sweeping arpeggios like that. People were just doing three string little sweeps over one chord or there was obviously Frank and Barley and there's some jazz players doing some interesting things with arpeggios but in the rock metal context nobody was doing anything like this. These big five six string inversions looping the lower strings down. You can hear Jason's influence nowadays in players like Jeff Loomis and Jason Richardson and Richie Allen from the Heavy Metal Ninjas and tons of other players have been inspired especially in, in, in the rock genre uh, from Jason's incredible approach to these arpeggios and the cleanliness and the timing of this. Now, I recently did a Playing Style and Habits video for Jason Becker's style. You can find the link in the comments below if you want to learn the basic approach to some of these arpeggios and my, and my approach to them. But Jason had his, was in a world of his own with that stuff, technically, but brought it in as a technique to create these kind of cascading movements within his composition so that's something really really interesting and a really good demonstration of how technique can be used to express something rather than just show off so yeah that is altitudes check out the album perpetual burn it's beautiful the next clip i'm going to check out is jason becker doing a guitar clinic in japan it says in 1989 i was barely one years old uh, and this is actually called never new never seen footage Jason Becker plays Serrano Arpeggios Japan 89. Now, this footage is, I, I think this is actually related to the film made about Jason Becker, so this kind of got released. It's got jasonbecker.com written on it, so I think it's obviously they own this clip, but somebody else has uploaded it. Um, but this is one of the clips. I saw a ver another version of this clip uploaded many, many years ago when I was, it was Google Video, and I was playing guitar in college and trying to get my shred chops together, and somebody told me to check out Jason Becker my jaw fell on the floor and this is just a really cool you know just just you can see jason he's a young lad and he's just playing these arpeggios off the cuff there's no kind of uh sort of prep or working anything out he just comes out of this stuff and it, it just shows you how these arpeggios work across the fretboard this wasn't he never actually turned this into a it turned into a song serana um later on but these arpeggios um he never got around to at least as far as I'm aware, recording them into an actual instrumental piece of music with him playing, unfortunately. But here we get to see him at the clinic ripping through these arpeggios. Let's just have a listen. It's a very short clip. Here we are. Check out that right hand technique. Just, just, just crazy, like, it's the, the the pure, just delivery of it, it sounds fiery, and, and he's got all these, it's not just up and down, he's got all these little moments within the arpeggios going, 
you know, kind of these mini melodies going on and the top note of each arpeggio follows a kind of melody as well. It's not just in one position. Um, also, he just seems super chilled as he's playing that. He's got his ripped jeans. He looks badass. He's got that Carvin guitar. Carvin, um, and, uh, uh, yeah, Carvin have released um, vari variations of this, I think. Or maybe is it Kiesel? I'm probably wrong. Just let me know in the comments. But Carvin Kiesel, related companies. And um, Jason has, they've released that guitar as a signature guitar and there's limited edition models and all kinds of good stuff. And if you buy the guitar, the money actually supports Jason's healthcare which I think is really cool of the companies to do. And um, yeah, the technique, as I was mentioning, he's got his little finger anchored, but he's also kind of, you can see that's what people call pick slanting, you know, the motion of the pick, kind of going with the motion of the sweep. Uh, clear master at this, but obviously, I don't know if Jason would have ever thought about that sort of stuff. It's just clearly he's embodying the technique, which is, you know, he, he it's how it, fe how it feels right to play those sort of things. And I think that's something we can all learn from in terms of technique, you know, being able to really feel what we're playing and not saying in like the kind of blues like you just got a feel of man but like as in actually rather than thinking about what's going on actually how does that does it feel comfortable to play that is it fun to play that and clearly finding that kind of fun element and natural element has enabled Jason then to kind of really really kind of make that technique into something incredibly musical and expressive the next clip I'm going to play I'm not going to talk over, but I'd like to talk about a bit about the background of this clip. This is Jason Becker, Not Dead Yet, film trailer on the Jason Becker movie channel on YouTube. Now, I bought this on DVD, and um, it's, a, it's a documentary about Jason's career from the beginning to where he is now, his journey with his early career creating music, just being it's from a kid, from a very young kid, just like just having this natural attitude towards the guitar, towards music, towards creativity. His family are very creative and very supportive and lovely, lovely people. And there's interviews of lots of great guitarists through this as well. There's people like Steve Vai, Mike Friedman turning up, Richie Kotzen talking about how he was kind of intimidated by Jason when he first met him as a, you know, Jason was like 16 or 17 and uh, Richie was a bit older and he's like, oh God, this guy's on it. He's really on it. But obviously everybody in their own right is valid of course at the start of this clip we see jason as he is now in his wheelchair with breathing apparatus and he's his eyes are moving and uh, his father gary is interpreting his eye movements into letters with this system this board that he made so he could tell people what he wanted to do and they've obviously got really good at interpreting what he's saying and he's there he's he's wheelchair bound but he's still got this incredible humor Check out this clip and then I'll reflect on it afterwards. L A D, ladies, A and G E, gentlemen, T H I, this is Jason Becker, T H E, the S E X, sexiest M A, man alive. There was nobody better than that dude. He was on another level. When people would hear him, they'd turn their head and go, what the heck was that? But he wouldn't just play a Bach piece. He could set a guitar on his lap and play it that way. Jason was on his way to becoming a really big rock star. He was gonna just take over the world. And that's when Jason told us his leg was kind of bothering him. He just had been limping for a while, and we finally talked him into check, getting it checked out at Kaiser in L.A. when he was there, and that's when all the trouble started. We believe you've got Lou Gehrig's disease and you have three to five years to live. I think his answer was, am I going to be able to tour? Eventually he needed crutches, then a wheelchair. Then it just got to where, you know, he dropped the guitar, he couldn't even hang on to it. When he was really sick, he was really thin and really pale. It was a different person. It never surprised me that if there was a way to keep making music, he would. His mind frame was, well, no, I just I have stuff to do. So I just have to go do it. And so we created a, a system uh, to allow Jason to be able, using just his chin, sort of one click at a time, to be able to enter in the notes. God, he just kept working. It happened so young, and he just still had a life to live, and he wanted to live it. 
That's when I invented the sign language for him. Basically, it's an eye geometry. Every letter of the alphabet has two eye movements. I remember I came to his house, and he played this thing for me, and I went, how did you do this? I was just floored. It's a much bigger reason than anybody out there knows why he's still here. But he's still here. So there's the trailer to Jason Becker, Not Dead Yet. Jason Becker, the self-proclaimed sexiest man alive. And uh, it's well worth checking out. It's inspiring. It's moving. He's got a beautiful family um, and lots of beautiful friends. And if you want to support Jason, you can check out his website. There's lots of information there on how you can support him and his family in his healthcare. So there we have it. Those are some reflections on the amazing Jason Becker. Leave us a like. Be sure to hit the bell button to be notified when we upload more free guitar lessons. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. What do you think about Jason? I find him very inspiring. It'd be great to have a conversation in the comments below. And if you'd like to take your playing to the next level, then Lick Library offers a membership. We're uploading new courses, new song lessons, lots of technique stuff, lots of theory stuff every month. So be sure to check out the membership in the description below. There's one-to-one -one coaching as part of your membership. So it'd be great to see you over there. Thank you for watching.